Hey guys, it's Sunny and I am currently in Munich, which is in Germany. And I thought what better way to explore this country than by eating your way through it all. So I'm gonna show you top three things you have to eat when you are in Germany, plus a savory ending. The place I am at is called Augustin Weinstuben. It is such a German place. They do serve Weisswurst, which I'm gonna eat now, but they also have so many other traditional German foods. Beside the food, they also have the whole vibe of a German Oktoberfest going on here. People sitting together on the benches, small talking together. What I've ordered, it's called white sausage in English, but in German, it's called Weisswurst. It is literally a white sausage swimming in water and it's made out of veal and bacon just it looks scary really really scary but I'm excited to dig in uh, they even have mustard which is called Weisswurst mustard so I'm not really sure how to do this all but I think I'm gonna take the sausage out of the bowl and then just put some mustard on and then just go from there okay we just have to smell Ah, it actually smells like Christmas hot dogs we have in Norway. Hmm. Now I'm getting a bit more excited instead of nervous. It's very soggy. It's really soggy. Maybe not my type of sausage or hot dogs. It's just really soggy. Like I, I feel like I'm not eating anything. It's just like rumbling on my tongue. The combination just feels wet. But that's not weird when it's been playing in a bowl of water, but it just feels wet, it's just like bleh. We're not giving up the taste test. So here is my second bite of bicycles. Maybe this time it will be a bit better. Okay, it is. It is a little bit better, but it is a weird concept. I cannot lie, but it's not not good. It's 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 okay. I am now at my second location of things you have to try when you are in Germany, and that is of course schnitzel. I can't get over the fact how big this schnitzel is. It's so huge. So I'm just gonna dig in. Schnitzel is thin thin meat that is fried in the pan with bread crumbles, and then they usually pair it with mashed potatoes and sometimes to add a bit of lemon. Just have to mix it all together. Um, it smells like fish and chips, but just better without the fish. <laughs> I've been blessed. These potatoes are heaven. They're mixed with something. I, I have no clue what they're made of. They are amazing. Mm hmm. I can feel the partially the lemon. It's almost like a little sauce. Potato sauce with potatoes. Wow, that was so refreshing. And I'm not used to potatoes being a fresh addition to the meat it's usually more the heavy part and also the schnitzel was also very nice but i think i need to try without the potatoes as well just get like a real feeling mm -hmm. it's not that much taste to it and i think that's the reason they added the potatoes because with the potatoes and the schnitzel it's perfect combination i think i'm missing the lemon so just spread that on and then i think you just have the most german perfect food i have now moved location and i'm sitting outside of a kebab shop here in munich germany is famous for is their Döner kebab so i had to try it and i'm sitting here with a whole plate of it and i'm just ready to dig in it looks amazing and the guy that made it was so nice as well Well, that's really fresh and spicy. The meat is really juicy. And as you can see, it has a lot of vegetables, which is fresh. But at the same time, it has the bread, so it kind of makes you full. What really makes it, mwah, it's the vegetables and the cabbage and the onions. It's all so fresh, so definitely worth the hype. So as always, I'm gonna end this video with either something sweet or savory, and that is a pretzel. savory but the white stuff
stuff on the pretzel is so salty. So it makes a very funny combination because I was afraid it would be super dry, but it's not. And I think that's due to the white stuff. A perfect snack. If you don't like too sweet baker stuff like cake or chocolate, but you do want to have something that's nice, this is your go-to. I promise. So with that being said, I think me and the pretzel will end this video on a high note. Remember, if you're in Munich, you have to try one of these dishes because they are super German. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more. And I guess with that, I'll see you next Sunday.